Hello, hello, people. Give me just a second here. Mr. Apache Longbow's in here. What's going on? It says Pokemon time. Woohoo! Also, we got Upside Down Tom Cruise, who says Mr. Catalina getting into Synthwave. I approve. Man, I've this has been my aesthetic for the longest time. You haven't known that? <laughs> okay, what is up, ladies and gentlemen? Hopefully, the chat box on the side here will update in just a moment. Sometimes that can be a little slow to get started when I uh, switch sources. Callum Coakley says, hello. What's up, Callum? There we go. Now the chat box is working. Hey, everybody. What's going on? Just do me a favor. Let me know how we're sounding audio-wise. I just didn't expect to see it here. Hey, it's it's the new uh, it's the new channel aesthetic. I, I spent uh, I spent yesterday creating new stream assets, so we now have a whole new look and feel to to everything here. And for whatever reason, the uh, the chat box just seems to die every time I go off the the this source. More Pokemon cards? Shaking my head, shaking my head. Listen, I went to Walmart today to get something totally different, and I was like, what the hell? I'll just check. I'll see what they have. And they had Champion's Path, which is like one of the hottest sets right now. It's not the newest set. Vivid Voltage is the newest set, but it's 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 newer. It came out in September, I believe. Are you really into Synthwave? Like, have you got some favorite synth artists? Uh, ooh, see, now you're gonna say I'm a poser, um, because I really don't. There are just these, like, playlists that I go through, so they're not, like, I don't, like, actively search out one specific artist, but there's, like, playlists that I listen through, and I'm like, ooh, I kind of like that. Uh, but right now we're listening to Neon Metropolis, One Hour Mix. It's all royalty-free stuff, because I don't want to get hit with copyright. You know how it is. Listen, if you have someone you would like to recommend, dude, let me know. I'd be happy to listen to somebody you like. Alright, I might also boost my brightness a little bit here. Hmm. I don't know. I'll leave that as is brightness-wise. I got a... I had this in one of my last streams. I have an RGB light bulb, and I want to get another lamp for over here. That way I have, like, a nice lighting background. Oh, we got so many cards to open tonight. <laughs> we got a lot of stuff to open up tonight. So, yeah, the last time I was at Walmart, I grabbed some of these Unbroken Bonds packs, because that's a set from, like... 2018 that got 2018 or 2019 that got a, a reprint slash repackage so i bought a few of these there's three packs in each one of these boxes i grabbed another or beetle v box this has two vivid voltage uh burning shadows and a darkness ablaze and then i grabbed four of these hatterene v champions path boxes these each have four uh champions paths so i want to say we have 16 champions path to open up today which is, like, oh, I'm super duper excited for that. I'm also trying out a different camera angle this time. I usually have it coming in from the side and looking down. But right now I have it straight in front. The camera's, like, right here in front of me. Tom Cruise says, all right, check out Gunship. Probably my most favorite synth artist ever. Dude, absolutely. Um, I'm not going to play it on stream. Just, again, you know, copyright stuff. Because this is all royalty free that I have playing now. Uh, give me a sec. I'm going to mute for just a moment so I can double check audio. All right, sounds good. But I'm going to turn it down just a touch.
All right, that'll work. Again, just let me know how we're sounding. I'm so picky about audio. Just finished up work for the day. Well, night. <laughs> we're just starting to get to work tonight. But yeah, how is everybody doing? Callum, what are you up to, man? Ah, uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and get started here. I'm gonna start opening up these Unbroken Bonds packs that I picked up uh, a few days ago. We opened up one of these on the last stream, uh, but I still had three more. Nintendo uploaded a banger today. Didn't, uh, didn't, is it, isn't Hyrule Warriors coming out in a few days? Is that already out? I don't know. But now I'm just gonna sit here. Oh, I'm sorry. You can still go for a walk if you like. I'm not gonna hold you, hey, I'm not gonna hold you here hostage. <laughs> hostage in Mr. Catalina's stream. Out, oh, out of nowhere, the world ends with you. Yes, I did see that. I haven't played the original. But I know how much people love that game. And uh, people were making fun of all the Persona people today. Because all the Persona people were like, Yo, this reminds me so much of Persona. I can't believe they copied the art style or something like that. So everybody was tearing into the Persona people. <laughs> Hyrule Warriors came out last week. Grabbed it on Friday. I do want to play that at some point. I don't know if that'll be a stream game or not. Um, I, I'm going to be getting Yakuza Like a Dragon. Like hopefully sometime this week. Um, I'm going to be sending back Deadly Premonition 2. I don't think we're ever going to play that again. And then I'm going to rent uh, Like a Dragon. I'm excited for that. As someone who loves Persona and the world ends with you, I find it hilarious. <laughs> yeah, dude. All, like, at least on Twitter, all the Persona people were like, Wow, I can't believe they're copying the Persona art style. How dare they use jazz music or something like that. And I just, I found it super funny. Uh, Unbroken Bonds. This is a good set. As always, I don't even have to say it. We're looking for a Charizard. It's become my favorite Yakuza to date, for real. Listen, I've looked up next to nothing about it. I know some spoilers here and there, and I did watch some scenes in English. I just couldn't help myself, uh, the English dub of it. Um, but I know next to nothing about the story of the game. I'm trying to keep myself in the dark. Same deal with, like, the sub-stories. I don't really want to know too much about those. I want to go in as blind as humanly possible. That's a lot of packs out of that wee box. There, there were three packs in each of those boxes. I also... Oh, I didn't get a bag handy. I like to have a bag nearby for all the, the trash that comes from these. Slow burn narrative wise, but my god, that burn is pretty amazing. Still in the early game myself. Well, then I, I definitely won't tell you what I've had spoiled for me. <laughs> I definitely won't tell you what happened story wise that I've had spoiled for me, but I've tried to stay in the dark as much as I can. Hopefully, some value tonight. Oh, dude, listen, from the packs that we have to open up tonight, not the amount, but the sets that we have to open up tonight. There is no possible way we're walking away without some kind of value. I didn't even go to that Walmart to buy the Champion's Path boxes. I just saw them sitting there and I was like, oh boy, all right, let me go spend $80. <laughs> rent money tonight? Hopefully, I'm needing it. Either rent money or money for the new Japanese set that just came out, Shiny Star V. Um, ugh, that new set is so gorgeous. It's a Japanese set that came out. It's so gorgeous. I'd love to get some of those. All right, starting off, first pack of the night. First pack of the night. Devolution Spray, Togetic, Koga's Trap, Sandile, Oddish, Zubat, Coughing, Doduo, Do Trio, a Reverse Hollow, and Marshadow Hollow. So a hit, but nothing crazy. I think I have that card in Japanese that we pulled from uh, Tag All Stars. Uh, Unbroken Bonds is more or less the. Um, like the English version of the Tag All-Stars packs that we had been opening. 
I have on my up next another guy who's doing live Pokemon card openings. Is it um is it the card economist? I absolutely love his channel. I have been watching every single one of his live streams. He live streams two times a day. Two times every single day. And I love his stuff. I love his stuff. Mr. T-Bones, what's up? My birthday is Saturday. I'm turning 30. Oof. Listen, I'm gonna be 25 in about two months. And, uh, oh, it's starting to set in. I'm, I'm starting to feel old, so I, I feel you there. Some dude named Faint Attacks. I don't know him. Never heard of him. Power Plant, Charge a Bug, Touracat, Poliwag, Spritzy, Lickitung, Venonat, Spiro, Ekans Reverse Hollow. That's actually a really good looking card. I like that. And a Sea King. To be honest, I don't really have any interest in Pokemon cards. I'm just here for the Catalina. Well, thank you, man. I'm hoping that I can kind of get you into this. Like, it, even if you don't get them yourself, I'm hoping to get you excited to, to watch them. Me, nice and youthful here with all you old guys. Callum, how old are you? <laughs> are you under 18? Do we need to watch the language from now on since we have a, since we have a little baby in the stream? 19? All right, you're not that young. You're not as young as I thought you were going to say. If you were going to say, like, oh, yeah, I'm 16, I would have been like, oh, shit. We're going to have to watch the language from now on. All right. Energy, Charge a Bug, Tora Cat, Surprise Box, Venonat, Meowth, Geodude, Porygon, Froakie, Gloom Reverse Hollow, and Honchcrow GX. All right, I'm going to sleeve that one. I'm in my 30s, and that's all I'll say. You're probably younger than Mr. Smith. <laughs> he's like he's like the stream daddy. He's like all of our dads. That Honch Crow is a good looking card. Not my favorite Pokemon, but a good looking card. Has that bird got a hat? Kinda. It's like it's like part of his head. It's part of his head. Martin was a lot younger than I thought, to be honest. How old did you think he was? Did you think did you think we had like a 60 year old dude in here? Froakie's too cute. He's probably one of my favorite Kahlo starters. Very dapper crest on that bird. Oh, I think I saw something good on the backside there. All right, let's go slow. Energy. Lieutenant Surge's strategy. Samson Oak. Uh, Professor Oak's Alolan cousin or something like that. Porygon 2. Murkrow. Oddish. Misdrevious. Salandit, Glameow, Wooper! Yes! We got a Wooper! <laughs> Sorry, Wooper is one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. I'm super happy anytime I get a Wooper, and especially a Reverse Hollow Wooper. And look at that artwork. Look at that artwork. Look at that Wooper. All right, and our hit is... Oh, Kartana. All right, we got a Kartana. All right, should I even... I'm not going to sleeve that. I'm going to sleeve the Wooper, though. I like the Wooper. I guess that's some sort of valuable Wooper. I don't think it's valuable, um, but Wooper is just one of my favorite Pokemon. He's so goofy looking. I have a plush Wooper, and I love him so much. I don't think the, the Kartana is worth sleeving. I have, uh, you know, I have that card in the Japanese variant. Yes, I do. So does that guy open Pokemon cards two times a day? Yes, he does. Um, so he buys, like, huge amounts of Pokemon cards and then sells them in his stream. So he'll have, like, a listing in the description of, like, what the packs cost. You PayPal him the money. You talk to him through Discord. And he will open up your packs live on stream from his collection and send you the pulls that he gets. He... he I love watching his stuff because it's like getting to it's like getting to open up your own packs all day. I've yet to buy anything from him, but I've been watching him for like the past month. Um, I support him on YouTube as a member, and like I just I love watching his stuff. The card economist, I like him a lot. I also feel like I need another light to face to face this way to light up uh, light up the cards a little better. All right, energy metapod. Firo, Graveler. Oh, oh, look at the Pikachu. I like that Pikachu artwork. He's on a he's on a boat. Murkrow, Rhyhorn, Meltan, Slowpoke, taking a bath. Look at him. Reverse Hollow Cottony and Sea King. I like that Pikachu artwork. Pikachus don't really hold much value unless they're like a super limited variant of a Pikachu. Like there's a, a special delivery 
special delivery Pikachu card that you get from uh, buying things from the Pokemon website. That one's actually going up in value because I don't think they give that out anymore. Oh, apparently the guy who sold and graded Logan Paul's collection is a fraud from what I've seen. Oh yeah, collectibles, collectibles guru. He's a total fraud, man. He's a total fraud. No, Logan Paul himself didn't get scammed, but someone else who went and bought cards from the same supplier that Logan Paul did buy from um, has sold, like, two fake first edition booster boxes, and, like, he's generally just, like, regarded as, like, a, like a, like a, shady, a shady character in the community now. All right. Energy, Fire Crystal, De-Evolution Spray, Togetic, Oddish, Zubat, Coughing, Doduo, Poliwag, Reverse Hollow Landorus, all right, and Agron. Three more packs of Unbroken Bonds. Anybody associated with the Paul Brothers are shady. I do agree with you to an extent. I think they get a little too much flack. They're just hype beasts. Well, they're just hype beasts. That's all they are. They're, they're not really, they don't really, they don't cause any harm unless they're recording in like a, like a suicide forest or something like that, but they generally don't cause harm. They're just annoying. They're just annoying. What up, Mr. Smith? We were just talking about you. We were asking where you were. Okay. Energy. Metal Core Barrier. Fire Crystal. De-Evolution Spray. Oh, another Wooper. All right, we're putting him to the side. We like Wooper here. Sandile. Meowth. Grubbin. Geodude, Meowth Reverse Hollow, and Cliff Fable. Logan, I actually think is slightly more tolerable, tolerable than Jake. I agree 100%. <laughs> Jake Paul is like, he he's the worst. He's the, the worst of the bunch. Mr. Smith says, I just finished dinner, trying not to doze off. Drink some coffee, man. We're going to have a, we'll be streaming here for a bit. They must make an absolute killing through doing very little. It's all the merch. They make so much from merchandise. Give me a sec here. All right, we're good. Okay. I put my Catalinaville sticker on my work laptop. <laughs> you're going to have people at your... Oh, I guess nobody really goes to work anymore. Um, I was going to say, you're going to have people... Uh, you're going to have people like asking what that's about. The only Maverick worth a damn is Tom Cruise. What about my dog? My dog's name is Maverick. <laughs> All right. Here we go. We got a hit in this pack. We got a hit. Did you find out who bought those 20 stickers? No, I did not. No, I did not. I made a post about it and I was like, hey, which one of you did that? And nobody, nobody, nobody said it was them. All right. Here we go. Energy, Kogus Trap, Power Plant, Cat, Spritzy, Lickitung, Venonat, Spiro. Uh, that's not the Hollow. Reverse Hollow Oddish and Volcanian Hollow. We're not getting any of those team up cards. I'm a little disappointed so far. Instead, we all posted meme content comments. I know. I like I had a genuine question. Nobody answered my question. All right. Last set of unbroken bonds. Whoa. Of course it's cold. Of course it's cold. Man, see these po uh Man, see those posts you do, and the replies are my... I know, it's annoying. Like, come on, like, have a conversation with me. Learn to speak in something other than movie quotes. Energy, Tentacruel, that's a new one. Stealthy Hood, Happini, Zubat, Jigglypuff, Bellsprout, Diglett, Poliwag, Victory Bell, Reverse Hollow, and Butterfree, Non-Hollow. That's going to do it for all the Unbroken Bonds. These streams help us learn to talk to you like a normal person. <laughs> like, come on, I'm a normal person. I, I, I can communicate in things other than movie quotes. Weeping Bell kind of looks like Homer Simpson. I could see that. Hank Hill saw that Butterfree and said, Boy, I'll tell you what. <laughs> dang it, Butterfree, get back in the Pokeball. Ah, God dang it. 
What are you doing out of your Pokemon? I actually introduced my housemates to Catalina last week. Uh, he looks at me funny now. I bet he does. You get a lot of looks when you tell people about that stuff. Trust me. I would know. Alright. Up next, we're going to open up the Orbeetle V-Box. It has two boxes of Vivid Voltage, which I'm most excited about. Good packs in this box. Not the cheapest box in the world. I think this is like $25 for packs, but it's four good packs. I get another one of these Orbeetle V cards. I opened up this same pack the last stream that we did. So now I have doubles of this uh, particular card. So now I have two of these Orbeetle cards. They're promo cards. They're not really worth a whole lot. They also give you these jumbo cards, which are a complete and total waste. I don't know what to do with these. They just, I throw them on my shelf, and now I have two of these. No, I'll just throw that off to the side. We got two Vivid Voltage, a Burning Shadows, and a Darkness Ablaze. Just need two more to get the full play set. <laughs> I don't want any more of those Ore Beetles. I don't need any more Ore, be ore Beetles. All right. Let's do Burning Shadows. Do you guys uh, do you guys like the thumbnail I made for the stream? I tried to make it as clickbaity as humanly possible. Watch you end up with a few? I sure hope not. I don't think you can actually... So the only way to actually get this variant of the card, like this artwork, is to buy this box. You can't pull it out of a pack. It needs... Well, it wouldn't come out of this pack anyway. But you can only get this card from buying the box. That being said, it's just not valuable because anybody can go to the store and buy this box right now. It came out like like two days ago. It's sitting on store shelves. My Walmart had like 10 of them. All you seven other viewers not already liked, you should do so. Yeah, I mean, please. Uh, do me a favor. Yes, if you enjoy the stream, do me a favor, hit like, because it helps the algorithm pick it up, and it sends it to more people, the more people that interact with it. Um, you can't set video tags when you're live streaming, but once the stream is finished, I can go back, I can set, like, video tags. That way, people can actually, you know, find it when they search. So, here we go. Energy, Metapod. Bodybuilding Dumbbells, that's a long name, Rhydon, Morlull, Charmander, oh no, he's crying, he's so sad, Porygon, Meryl, Hoot Hoot, Whirlipede, Reverse Hollow, and our hit, okay, Ho-O-G-X, that's a good looking card, rocking the Billy Mays style today, <laughs> I don't know what you mean by that, but hi, Billy Mays here, that's a good looking card. We got Ho O G X. Good looking card. Again, I don't really know what, you know, what that's worth in terms of value, but still very cool card. Good pull. All right, I think that's our only pack of Burning Shadows tonight. So let me put those off to the side. Let's do Darkness Ablaze. There's a Charizard in here I'd very much like to get. Grown-ass men staring at my daughter. Gonna get shot. Oh, good lord. Never had Billy Mays commercials air here. Only know him from the memes. He was a legendary dude, man. When he died, I was in either 7th or 8th grade. So I was in middle school. And, man, that was upsetting. Because that meme was so big. Like, every YouTube poop was Billy Mays related at the time. And then all of a sudden, he passed away. And it was just, oh god, it was so sad. I love Darkness Ablaze. I like this set, too. It's a good sign. We got a white code card. Hoping for another Charizard VMAX. Okay. Energy. Steeny. Furret. Yellhorn. Wishy-Washy. Cuffant. Dino. Panseer. Mareep. Reverse Hollow. Dunsparce. And, oh, Mew V. I think I pulled that last time, too. All right, we, we pulled that when we opened up the booster box. About three forty nine for the ho. Oh, oh, that sucks. Oh, well. 
Phil Swift has shown up on our airways, though. We get some. I own a can of Flex Seal. I just never used it. We had a... So there's this, like, small opening between my dishwasher and the wall, like, the where it connects to, like, the rest of my, um, the rest of my counter. And I bought a thing of Flex Seal because I was going to seal it shut, you know, that way, like, that mouse wouldn't... And I eventually caught the mouse in, a like, this little humane mouse trap that I own. Um, so the mouse is gone, but I still have this can of Flex Seal I never opened. So there it is. Five bucks from you? Okay. I sawed this boat in half. Now that's a lot of damage. <laughs> I'll stop looking them up so you can be surprised at the end. No, dude, if you want to look them up, that would actually help me out immensely. All right, Vivid Voltage. Vivid Voltage time. Oh my god, are we going to have a whole box of nothing but white code cards? That would be amazing. What about the ShamWow guy, Vince? Hi, it's Vince with ShamWow. You'll be saying wow every time you use this towel. It's like a towel. It's like a chamois. It's like a sponge. A regular towel doesn't work wet. This works wet or dry. This is for the house, the car, the boat, the RV. ShamWow works every time. <laughs> oh, man. Remember when he went to jail? I remember that. First saw him because of JonTron, though. Uh, then I noticed them airing it on TV. <laughs> Oh yeah, JonTron did a whole flex seal thing. I feel like that really put Phil Swift on the map. Like people knew who Phil Swift was. They knew it was kind of funny, but <laughs> like I feel like when he did the stuff with JonTron, that's when his stuff really took off. All right, we got a hit coming in this one. Energy, Swaylo, League Staff, Charmeleon, Meowth, Chai Mecco, Blitzsoul. My camera keeps going out of focus. Slugma. Beldum, Reverse Hollow Ninkata, and Toga Kiss V. Look at us with the hits tonight. What was Vince arrested for? Uh, prostitution charges, I believe. I believe uh, he was caught with a prostitute and like they got in a fight or something, if I remember correctly. Yeah, he got into a fist fight with a prostitute. <laughs> oh, good lord, what a character. I'm guessing nothing as serious as Fogel. Oh, God, no, we don't talk about him here. Hi, it's Vince with Sham Wow. Oh, he also has the slap shot. You're gonna love my nuts. <laughs> You're gonna love my nuts. She kicked his ass? Good. He made he made fun of his arrest his, his arrest in a commercial for Sticky. I've never heard of Sticky. I'm unfamiliar with Sticky. Here we go. Last pack of vivid. We gonna get another hit? Ah, uh, there was no way I was going to get a full box of nothing but hits. There was no way. There could still be an amazing rare in this set. This is why I love Vivid Voltage so much. That even when you get a green card, you can still get an amazing rare. I saw the Djibouti Dubs video for Stiggy. You're going to love my nuts. Also sounds like a line from a movie that aren't for families. Yes, inappropriate. Okay, Vivid Voltage. Energy, Swoobat, Loudred, Zebstrika. Cottony, Mudbray, Slugma, Wismer, Execute, Aracuda Reverse Hollow, and Clefable. That's a lots of nuts. Alright, where did I put the rest of my Vivid? There it is. I gotta add that to the pile of Vivid Voltage that we opened up last time. The, the whole top of my computer tower is just all Pokemon cards. Alrighty, now, this is the main event. This is the main event. We have some Champions Path. Hey, marketing idea. Commons signed by Mr. Catalina and sold online. Trust me, it ain't worth it. I mean, obviously, I'd love to give you guys something, but if you don't want Commons. You don't want my bulk. Oh, I'm going to own so many of these Hatterene cards. That's a big box. There's there's four packs in there. It's not crazy. All right, here are our Hatterenes. We're going to have four of each of these because I bought four Hatterene boxes. Uh, I don't even know where to put this. I don't care about the jumbo cards. I would spend $20 on an energy card signed by Mr. Catalina. <laughs> Are 
Are these like super cheap in the States? I'm worried about you. Um, no, they're not cheap. I've been selling some cards on eBay though. Each one of these boxes is $20 US. And I bought four of them, so 80 bucks. It's an idea for the jumbo cards. Could do that. Sign the jumbo cards. I feel like they'd get bent in the mail. At least with like the smaller cards, you can put them in like top loaders or card savers and keep them safe. You make much selling on eBay? No, eBay takes too much in fees. I gotta find a better way to do this. eBay takes like 10% and when you sell a card for a dollar, it almost ain't worth it. But they're easy to ship. You just stick them in a card saver. You put some cardboard around them, throw them in an envelope, stamp, write the address. It's super easy. But but eBay takes 10%. And like, it's hardly even worth it. All right, Champion's Path. Now, every Champion's Path comes with a white code card. That's not going to change. I'd make a lot more if I could actually grade them. It's just I still haven't... I, I'm waiting till I get something else really good before I send out my batch that I have for grading. I'm guessing there's some kind of marketplace made specifically for trading cards. There's a few, but again, it's like the fees. It's the fees. Code cards are worth next to nothing. I know that, but I do play the online TCG now, so I like, uh, I like collecting the code cards. We're also going to open up... I'm going to go through, I have my tablet with me, I'm going to scan all of these code cards, and then we're going, to, oh, we're going to open up the digital packs during this stream as well. Because every time you scan a code card, you get a digital pack to open up in the game. Alright, Energy, Hyper Potion, Victini, Suspicious Food Tin, Rock Ruff, Vulpix, Galarian Zigzagoon, Machop, Swablu, Sonya Reverse Hollow, My Baby Girl, and Scrafty. I believe I have a few of those Scrafties already. The only other time I've ever opened up this set, Champion's Path, is for a pre-recorded video that I had done. Oh, I think we got something good on this one. I think we got something good on this one. Energy, Rotom Bike, Arbok, Victini, Hatena, Trubbish, Kakuna, Purloin, Full Heal, Purloin Reverse, and Altaria. Oh, I thought we had something better than that. Is that the one where you slipped? Yes. <laughs> yes. There's a, a rainbow chart. So the, the Charizard that I pulled from a box of Darkness Ablaze off, off stream um, has a rainbow variant in this set that, like, ungraded sells for, like, $1,500. No, I'm sorry. Graded a 10, it's, like, $1,500. Ungraded is, like, eight seven to 800 If I could pull that, <laughs> then, oh. Oh, man. That's the dream right there. We're, we're, we're going to get one. I'm manifesting it. We're going to get a Charizard of some kind. I believe there's also a shiny Charizard in this as well, but uh, I, don't, I don't remember. <clears throat> Here we go. Energy. Kabu. Bead. Turf field. Oh, Jesus. Martin Smith is in here with $3.60 and says, just a tip. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. You're helping me buy more Pokemans. You're helping me buy more Pokemans. Turffield Stadium, Galarian Linoon, Potion, Trubbish, Roly Coley, Kakuna, Pokeball Reverse Hollow, and Galarian Obstagoon. I have, out of like the 10 packs I opened before, I swear to God, like five of them had this Obstagoon in there. Vulpix, she's cute. Did we get a Vulpix in that? Did I not even pay attention? No, I didn't get a Vulpix in that. Oh, earlier pack I did. Okay, got it. It's amazing. Once I go through these, I don't remember what I had. <clears throat> Alright, this is the last pack of the first box. Oh, man.
Here we go. All right. Energy, Suspicious Food Tin, Lipard, Hyper Potion, Trubbish, Roly Coley, Kakuna, Galarian Zigzagoon, Carvana, Sizzlypeed, Machamp. People call this set Machampion's Path because everybody just gets Machamp. <laughs> and I can see why. And that's going to do it for the first Champion's Path box. Nothing crazy. We're not getting amazing hits tonight. Not getting amazing hits. The champ definitely spends a lot of time at the gym. Well, hey, listen, if you had four arms, so would you. Got another Hatterene. Another big Hatterene. Yippee. I genuinely don't know where to put these. Alright, we have 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We have 12 more packs of Champion's Path. <clears throat> Gotta stay hydrated. Champ kind of reminds me of Goro. Goro who? Ah, uh, see, this is why I don't open them with my hands. That's why I don't open them with my hands. I swear. Okay, got it open anyway. Oh, Mortal Kombat Goro, got it. I'm not a Mortal Kombat guy. I'm a I'm a Tekken guy. Wow, I destroyed this pack trying to get in there. Oops, okay. One, two, three, four. I'll pretend I didn't hear that. I'm not a Mortal Kombat guy. Sorry. It's not that I don't like it. I've just never really had the opportunity to play it. Energy, Machoke, Malamar, Hyper Potion, Scraggy, Purloin, Sizzlypede, Roly Coley, Inkay, Team Yell Grunt Reverse, and another Scrafty. Come on, no more Scrafty. Killer Instinct was almost my favorite. I played uh, I played the new one when the Xbox One had first come out, the, the new Killer Instinct. That was a launch title, right? I know it was like an N64 game. Inkay, my favorite. He's too cute. Shameful. I'm not shameful. I'm just... I grew up with Tekken. Tekken's my thing. I'm no good at it, but Tekken's my thing. Energy, Malamar, Hatterem, Victini, Machop, Swablu, Nickit, Kakuna, Ekans, Galarian Linoon Reverse, and Altaria Hollow. I used to play Street Fighters religiously. Played most of the main franchise. Uh, played most of the main franchises and a few lesser. Oh, used to play Fighters. I'm stupid. How many Kakuna have we got tonight? A lot. We, this is like the Kakuna stream. This is the Kakuna stream. Here we go. Energy, Beedrill, Machoke, Rotom Bike, Trubbish, Vulpix, Swablu, Carvana, Ekans, Ooh, a hollow energy, okay. And, okay, we finally got a full art. We got Hop. I don't think I had this one yet. Finally got Hop. Who did you mean during your Tekken, uh, Tekken days? When I could actually play? Well, okay. So I grew up with Tekken 2, right? Tekken 2 was my game. Um, I really liked Kazuya, but you had to unlock him. You didn't have him from the start. So I think I played through with Heihachi as, mu as much as I could. Um, and then when I finally unlocked Kazuya, Kazuya there was, like, no going back. Like, <laughs> exclusively play as Kazuya. That may be valuable. Yeah, the full arts are usually valuable, but it's not, like, it's not, like, hundreds. It might be, like, 20 to 30 bucks.
Point of Authority is no, it's really not bad. It's just when you got a card in that value and you sell it on eBay, again, it's the fees. Like, it almost makes it not even worth it. Like, they take too, just too much. Energy, Milo, Great Ball, Malamar, Pokeball, Scraggy. I like the artwork on that. That's cute. Purloin, Sizzlypede, Roly Coley, Rotom Phone Reverse, and Professor's Research. Mostly main Zhao Yu. Which one was he from? I don't recognize his name. Seeing on eBay for like eight to eight to nine dollars. Ugh. Oh well. Maybe it would grade well. Let me look at it a little closer. All right. Let's look at Hop a little bit closer here. How would this grade? Centering is much wider on the bottom than it is on the top also much wider on the left than the right there's a small scuff in the corner that nah, that would not grade well i don't i know i don't know how well you could actually see that scuff you can kind of see a scuff on the top left corner there yeah that wouldn't grade well i'm not an expert on this but you know just you can kind of eyeball these things and kind of know when something's not going to grade well she's the chinese martial artists um yeah, I don't. Have, so, which one is she from? Because I've played, I've played two, three, tag team, and six. I actually haven't played seven. Tekken two is my game. Like you, you want to go with me in Tekken two? <laughs> uh, she's the Corona girl. That's terrible. She's in three. I remember that much. I will have to go back and play that again. Another Hatterene, another code. She first appeared in 3, okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you everything there is to know about Tekken 2, but when it comes to the funds following that, I'm, I'm just, I'm not as up to date, not as polished. Ling. Oh, I gotta slow it down here, we're almost out of packs. I, don't, I hate this, I, this, so, this is my least favorite part of these streams, is when we're down to like, a few packs left. Because it just makes me sad. Because I'd like to do this for, you know, hours on end. Like, I'd love to sit here all day and do this. It's just fun, you know? Club, Crunchiest Taco just subscribed. Welcome to the club, buddy. Are you watching the stream right now? Are you a part of this? We're getting closer to 500. These packs are, like, really snug. That's a familiar face, I know. Listen, we can't, we can't, you know, straight up watch those types of movies, but I don't feel like there's anything wrong with like a little, a little nod here or there. Don't ever forget where you came from. It's, it's just, it's part of the mystery. People will be like, I wonder who that is. All right, please stay focused for me. All right, energy, hop. Team Yell Grunt, Piers, Linoon, Weedle. Oh, look at the Weedle. I like the artwork on that. Inke, Hatena, Trubbish, Machamp Reverse, and Obstagoon again. Another Obstagoon. Weedle's an OG. Weedle has been around for a very long time. Who do you think will get more votes this election? Doug Walker, Steve Rambo, <laughs> Kanye West. Kanye is going to get the most votes. I know who Weedle is, and that's how OG he is. I did write in Steve for Town Clerk. No, you did not. Road Tom Phone, Hyper Potion, Victini, Nickit, Machop, 
Purloin, Scraggy, Full Heal, or a uh, Hollow Energy. Nice, I like that. And another Machamp. Oh, Mach so there's two nicknames for this set. It's called Champion's Path. People call it Much Champion's Path or, Ch or Chump's Path because you got to be a chump to invest in these. I did, not kidding. Oh my goodness. I remember once, years and years and years ago, I was at my local shopping mall, and they had this, like, uh, Christmas-themed giveaway they were doing, where you would write in, like, a letter to Santa Claus. <laughs> you could write Santa whatever you want, and they, it's like, they would send you, oh, like, an award if you want or something like that. I, of course, being the little, the little piece of shit that I am, uh, just drew a picture of Steve Rambo and said, Dear Santa, you're macabre. <laughs> Doug Walker shouldn't be anything. Always hated the guy. Something always off about him. He's just I don't I just personally don't enjoy his 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 type of comedy. All right, I see something on the back. I don't think that's a rainbow card. I don't think it's that Charizard. Energy, bead, Kabu, Sonia, Nickit, Purloin, Rockruff, Vulpix. There yeah, there's your Vulpix. Zigzagoon, Kakuna Reverse. And Cursula V. This is one that I think I pulled the full art version of. So I don't think I have this one of it. Sonya makes a great waifu. Oh, she's my waifu. I got that rainbow card of her. We pulled that from Rebel Clash. Let me see if I can find that one in my box of cards. All right, where's Sonya? She's in here somewhere. These are all the cards I'm going to send out to have graded. There she is. Oh, the baby girl. I love that. I love her so much. Look at how beautiful that card is. Oh, the baby girl. Did I see a fat Pikachu? Yes, you did. I see. I don't know about the Polyrath. They don't have much value. Is that last Pokemon you pulled an Amoeba? No, so it's... It's like a dead piece of coral. It's tough to explain. You would have to know what a uh, Corsola is. But yeah, so we have the Charizard VMAX. We have the Evolutions Charizard, which I pulled on stream. Dragonite, a few Zapdos. And these surfing Pikachus, when these grade a 10, they're like 350 bucks each. So I'm hoping I can definitely get some value with the surfing Pikachus. We got the Shining Ho-Oh, which came from the... Uh, the Shining Legends Elite Trainer Box. The first Pokemon pack that I opened up in 14 years was this, this Ho-Oh. We got Shining Jirachi from Shining Legends, Mewtwo, Mewtwo, Shining Genesect, uh, Snorlax VMAX, more Pico VMAX, Sonya, the two gold cards from Tag All-Stars, a couple Polyrats, but again, I don't know if I'm going to send them. Brock's Grit, and I bought uh, a Rocket Dark Gyarados on eBay. I paid like a dollar for this. Um, I think graded. This was this is gonna grade really well because it's in great condition. Rocket was the third or fourth uh, original Pokemon set, so this is from like 1999. But this was in great condition. I thought, why not? I'll buy it. It might grade well. It's not a hollow or anything like that, but still, it's a cool card. It's like a 20 year old Gyarados card. Yes, but that's everything I'm going to be sending out to have graded. My favorite Brock moments came from Diamond and Pearl. You'd see a girl in Krogunk would jab him with Poison Jab. I didn't, I didn't, so that was, so, uh, Diamond and Pearl era was when I kind of fell off from everything Pokemon aside from the games. I've always played the Pokemon uh, video games, but... That's when I kind of fell off from, like, the anime and the trading cards. So I didn't watch too much of uh, Pokemon past Diamond and Pearl. Well, well, past Advanced Battles. So, like, the Ruby and Sapphire stuff. Good old Mr. Catalina. Looking for those looking for those special Pokemon cards. MJ's Two Cents. What's up, man? Just noticed that the chat is incredibly quickly synced now. Nice, nice update. Why are we doing that? So YouTube has a low latency mode where you can set it and it's like near instantaneous between when you say something and when I see it. So I'm able to respond a little bit quicker. Here we go. One, two, three, four. All right. Energy, B Drill, Hop, 
Pokemon Center Lady, Pokeball, Sizzlypede, Machop, Roly Coley, Full Heel, Turf Field Stadium, and another Professor's Research. Oh my god, we only have four packs of Champions Pack left. Champions Path. Yeah, Nurse Joy, I know. I, they just they don't call her that in the trading cards. Oh man, I'm feeling really bummed. We only got four more packs of champs. Chump, chump's path. Because I'm feeling like a chump for spending all this money on these. You know, out of curiosity, I want to look up how much these... Hatterene boxes go for unopened. <laughs> I might make more just by selling the unopened box. Okay, yeah, not a whole lot. You buy them for 20, they sell for like 27 on eBay. Not worth it. Might as well just open it. All right, here we go. We're in. This is our last champion's path. If you guys could see the mess on my bed right now. Hopefully this won't be a bust. Oh, dude, I know. I've, I've spent too much money on this to walk away with nothing. I gotta walk away with something of value. Charizard calling it now. We're manifesting it. Everybody, help manifest it with me. Put it out there. I will pull a Charizard. <laughs> I will pull a Charizard. You can see them. Oh, hey. <laughs> Keep it appropriate. Whoops, where was the code card? Oh, it was still in here. I pulled it out without the code card. Oh, I, I just mean poor organization. I thought you were going to say, like, uh, you, you, you wrestled in your bed or something like that. Rion, what's up? Says, hoping for the best, man. Thank you. I need it right now. I need something decent. All right, Energy, Sharpedo, Rotom Bike, Sonya, uh, Ekins, Upside Down, Carvana, Nickit, Roly Coley, Scraggy, Zygarde. Oh, man, we got three more packs. Three more packs. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Another Sonya. I know. She's beautiful. She's so beautiful. He used to sing in the choir and watch Catalina movies daily. Now he lives behind a KFC spending all his Patreon on Pokemon cards. I don't have Patreon anymore. I shut that down. Since I don't really do anything over there anymore, you know, I couldn't justify having a Patreon up for it. That just wouldn't feel right. Energy, Lipard, Kabu, Bead, Kakuna, Weedle, Pokeball, Sizzlypede, Machop, Milo, ah, Waylord V. If that's our only hit from this box is a Waylord, that's going to be upsetting. But, you know, that's the game. That's the game, man. There's always next pack. Patreon for Pokemon cards when? I would not ask you guys for money. I would not ask you guys for money. Un unless you want to, like, the only time I'd ever say, like, hey, listen, if you want to help me buy Pokemon cards, like, there's a link down below. You can hit me with a tip. I wouldn't start a Patreon just for that. I feel like that's manipulative. Like, help, help me buy, buy this stuff for me. That's what I call my ex-wife. I thought you liked your ex-wife. That's mean.
Brian says, the card pack opening streams have been great. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. These are so much fun to do. I much prefer to do these live as opposed to pre-recording. It's just more fun. I get to engage with you guys, and you get to experience this with me, like, live. Patreon for Pokemon cards? Yeah, that fits. Had to say. All right. Come on, focus for me. Energy. Arbok. Beedrill. Machoke. Nickit. Hatena. Sizzlypede. No, another Nickit. Purloin. Kabu. Lycanroc. What have I missed? Nothing. You haven't missed anything. We've gotten a few okay pulls. But we're on our final pack of the night. I don't want to be done yet. I don't want to be done yet. Hating on my wife reminds me of the iconic free men do line. <laughs> I know the one you're talking about. Bless this pack, man. I need some good energy on this one. I'm going to need some good energy because I can't justify continuously buying. So here's how I feel about buying Pokemon card packs. Like I go to the store and I'm spending money on them, but I'm, I'm viewing it as an investment in the channel. It's an investment into content. It's an investment into keeping you guys entertained. So, you know, I'm more than happy to buy these, but you know, it, it does get expensive and it's tough for me to keep doing this when I don't I have literally zero income coming in, aside from like a few dollars coming in from Redbubble. So it's, and of course, a few donations here and there over here. So it's just, it's tough. So I really hope we can pull something decent. God pack? There are no God packs in, in, in English sets. It's only a Japanese thing. Oh, all right. This is our last pack. I need something from this. I need something from this. We're in. We're in. This is it. I'm lending you my energy, Goku style. Yeah, you gotta put your arms up. Share your energy with me. Uh, are God packs uh, special packs with nothing but rares? Yes, exactly. That's exactly it. But they're only in Japanese sets. American sets do not have... Uh, well, English sets do not have God Packs. Only the Japanese sets. Here we go. Energy, Team Yell, Grunt, Lipard, Sonya, Kakuna, Zigzagoon, Carvana, Scraggy, Swablu, Sonya! Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I had a ream. No! Ah! <laughs> Are the God Packs very expensive? Um, well, they're luck of the draw. You don't know if you're getting a God Pack. It's like a one in two. It's like a one in two hundred and fifty chance out of uh, out of this out of like like in the set. Like in one specific set, like Tag All Stars, there's a one in two hundred and fifty chance that you'll get a God Pack. Ah, uh, oh well, we tried. Hollow at least, yeah. I mean, you're guaranteed a Hollow and champion and a Champions Path booster, so uh, not even not even that rare. Gambling has failed you, my friend. Move on. Move to a country with loot box bans. Yeah, I know. Bit of a disappointment, I know. Do Japanese rares have the same value? More or less. Not as crazy, but more or less. How hard are Japanese packs to get? Not hard at all. You can very easily import them. Well, so much for that. All right, let's go through our polls. Let's see what we got. That's Vivid. That's Champion's Path. Okay, well, first off, we got some Whoopers. I love Whooper. Whooper's my one of my favorite Pokemon aside from Oddish. So we got some Whoopers. From Champion's Path, we got the Full Art Hop, we got Wailord V and Cursula V. From Darkness Ablaze, we got Mew V. From Unbroken Bonds, we got Honchcrow GX. Vivid Voltage, we got, if that'll focus, we got Togekiss. And Darkness Ablaze, we got a Ho-Oh. Excuse me, so that's cool. This is like finding the golden ticket in Wonka Parts. Uh, I feel that. 
All right, we're not done quite yet though. So what I also want to do is I have my tablet handy. I'm gonna scan in these code cards and we're gonna open up some digital packs as well. I was thinking that could be fun. Because every time you scan a code card, you get access to one digital pack. Give me a moment here to get this set up. I'm not going to be able to screen record, um, but I'm just going to put my tablet in front of the screen. Hold it there, Samurai. It ain't 2077 yet. The game leaked, man. I don't know if you saw, but somebody was streaming Cyberpunk yesterday. They were streaming it from their PS4, so somebody has it. Can we open a geek crate next? Uh, I've never done a loot crate of any kind. My country has a lot of fake cards, but I think scanning it worked on the app. I don't know what to do next. How well is this going to work? Okay, give me a moment. I'm going to step away for just a sec so I can scan these codes and then we'll get them opened up. Give me just a moment.
Okay, I'm back. All right, so I went ahead, I scanned all my code cards, and we have a lot of digital packs that we can open up. I got 25 Vivid Voltage, A Darkness Ablaze, 9 Unbroken Bonds, uh, Sun and Moon, uh, and 15 Champions Path. I could have sworn I had a few more Unbroken Bonds. Did I not scan them? Give me a moment here. Oh god, are you guys talking about 90 Day Fiance? Yeah, there's an Unbroken Bonds. Gotta go through my collection of code cards here. I think maybe I just didn't scan all of my Unbroken Bonds. Oh, well. The woman who ate mattresses. What the hell? <laughs> That's strange. All right, let me, let me scan these last two. I don't know when they did it, but somebody had scanned one of my Champion's Path codes. Okay, so I did already do those. So I, w I was scanning through all my code cards, and somebody somehow scanned one of my Champions Path codes. So I must have had it. I must have showed the code for too long. It's all right. I don't. I don't care. All right. So what are we opening up first? Uh, is this even focusing? All right. Let's do the Darkness Ablaze. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Hang on. Alright, here we go. Darkness Ablaze. Is scanning someone's cards before they do it technically stream sniping? Kinda. Like, I'm not too peeved about that, but still. I would have preferred they did not do that. Alright. Oh, man. Do I have that card handy with me? Where did I put that? Ugh. So we pulled this out of a Darkness Ablaze pack uh, when I did that booster box opening, and I didn't notice it, but the whole bottom of the card was, like, scraped, so it's, like, useless. Can you sell the online ones? No, they're tied to my account. I can play with them. All right, let's do the Burning Shadows. We got Weavile. Not crazy. What if you sell the entire account with tons of rares? I, see, I don't know. I don't know if anybody's ever done that. Okay, we got 25 Vivid, 9 Unbroken Bonds, 15 Champions Path. Let's do the Unbroken Bonds. If I turn the brightness down a bit, will that look a little cleaner? Crocorock. Or Crocodile, I'm sorry. It would really suck if you got a Charizard in these digital packs. I've gotten two Charizards from Darkness Ablaze. Now, thankfully, I own that card physically, but I pulled it out of here and I was so annoyed by that. Crocorox, the Pokemon based on Crack Rocks. I'm sorry, it's Crocodile. Crocorock is something different. Arbok. A Rhyperior. Hey, we got the Whooper. <laughs> we got a Whooper. 
Yeah, whooper. Who's that bitch at the top? I'm sorry, I backed out. I don't know. Oh, we got Raichu. Oh, this person? I have no idea. She's like the professor or something. I don't know. MJ says, did you ever want to do YouTube in general? Did it become something you considered a post cap? No, I, dude, I've been trying to, I've been wanting to get into YouTube for like a decade. I have tried multiple times. It's just the, the Catalina stuff is the first, oh, we got another secret rare. No, it's not a secret rare. It's just a full art. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I've always wanted to get into this. It's just that now when I'm done with the, the previous channel, I, but I was like, I've been inspired. Like I really, I'm putting in like as much effort as I can to be consistent with this. Vile Plume. Velma looking ass. Sharpedo. Alright, I think that was the last on Broken Bonds. Thank you, man. I hope so, too. I'm really trying. Marshadow. <laughs> we got the Marshadow Reverse Hollow. And then the Marshadow Hollow. <laughs> Two Marshadows. Alright, let's do the Vivid. Let's do some Vivid Voltage. Ooh, Executor. Flareon, Lugia. Garbador. Jolteon. Ooh, Terrakion. Okay, that's a cool one. In physical cards, you want the best. In online, you hope you don't get... You hope you don't get something so cool you feel annoyed it's not physical. I know, man. At least I can play with these. At least these are cards that I can, you know, build a deck with and actually, like, use them. So, like, when I get cards here, I'm more so looking at, like, the stats, the HP, the attack, things like that. That's a decent Dreadnought. So, like, when I open these, it's all about, like, what can I play with? What's a good card that I can actually use and play? That's a cool Shedinja. I like the artwork on that. He killed the dude in the background. <laughs> Shedinja sucks out your soul or something like that. Timeshares, what's up? Says, just saw you were streaming. I know. Uh, sorry, man. You missed. So we opened up all the physical packs that I had to open today, but now we went through, we scanned all the codes and we're opening the digital packs. If this doesn't work out, print all the cards, <laughs> print the cards and start a ring of counterfeit cards, then get shot in Miami or something and yeah, the Nintendo Ninjas will come after me. We got the Genesect Hollow. Electrode. Hey, we got the Whooper. Always excited for a Whooper. Fortress. Got two hits out of this one. We got Genesect Reverse and Mudsdale. Vaporeon. Two hits. All right. Barascuta and Ninjask. Timeshare says, well, I just wanted to pop in and say thank you for the stickers. My Christmas cards are going to be extra manly this year. Oh, good Lord. Wait, were you the person who bought 20 stickers? Was that you? <laughs> 
I don't remember if you had said that was you or not. Samurai. Yeah, that was you? Oh, good. I'm glad I finally found out who actually did that. I got the email, in, like, because I got the, I get manufacturing emails, like, when people make purchases and things like that. And I'm like, wow, what, who the hell ordered 20 stickers? Magirna. You're going to have to, uh, you're going to have to show us what they look like. Is the merch site still up? Yes, it is. That's not going to go anywhere. I'm actually going to design a few more movie posters. That's like three Samurots in a row. Hey, Quagsire, looking goofy. We got a goofy looking Quagsire. Lucario. Executor Reverse and Nessa, full art. Yes, the second baby girl. <laughs> the second Sword and Shield baby girl. Sonya's still number one. Nessa's a close number two. Mudsdale. Executor. Shedinja. Oh, was that my last Vivid Voltage? Yes, it was. All right. Now we got 15 champions path left. Here we go, champions path. I kind of want the Charizard, but at the same time, if I get the Charizard out of this, I'm going to throw my tablet across the room. <laughs> Lycanroc. Machamp. Obstagoon. Yeah, you'd pick it up and then sell my account. <laughs> Zygarde. Ten left. Scrafty. Oh, yeah, for the love of God, don't give me a Charizard out of this. <laughs> Scrafty, again. Waylord V. Ah, we got that one physical as well today. Oh, we got... Is that the secret rare? No, not a secret rare. We got a full art Dreadnought. We got the full art Dreadnought. Hello, you, I just got an email. Hello, you made a sale. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you just ordered 30? Oh my goodness. Well, dude, thank you. Holy shit, thank you. <laughs> you bought 30 of these damn stickers. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Oh, you absolute madman. So the theory was somebody bought them and was going to stick them around town somewhere. Like stick them on like light posts and things like that. <laughs> now I know you're putting them on holiday cards. Oh my lord. Lycanroc and Machamp. Yeah, the, ne <laughs> the next set is to buy 40. <laughs> Machamp again. Out of, like, how much was that, to be honest? I don't even know what the price of those stickers are. Lycanroc. Hatterene. I wish I was your brother. Oh, good lord. People are going to be very concerned about you. They're going to be like, why in the world is this strange man on my holiday card? Who is this strange man? Lycanroc. Scrafty. I think we got one more. Is that what that said? Pokemon card money. 
Listen, I just, I don't remember what they cost. Yeah, that was the last pack. All I know is for 30 stickers, I made about $6. So, hey, I'll take it. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. I don't get that money for about a month. So, like, any any money that I'm making from Redbubble, you don't get it for, like, a month. So it kind of sucks. They pay out, like, on the 15th of every month. So, on the 15th, I'm going to get some money. I appreciate it, dude. Thank you. 30 stickers, you absolute madman. You absolute madman. A month later, you'll have a nice shawarma. <laughs> And that'll do it. That's all of our packs. Are we going to play around? Are we going to play around? I'm going through and I'm doing like all of like the computer matches because I'm still I'm still trying to like learn how everything works. You want me to play a game? All right. Uh, who are we going to go against? Let's go. I remember this guy last time gave me a real hard time. Like he was difficult. What have we beat him with? Uh... We could probably, we could most likely do Unseen Depths. I like that deck. All right, let me block out my player name because y'all don't need to see that. It's so cringy. Beat him with a stick? Oh, yeah, I'll just beat him to death. Do you need to beat him with all? Not all of you need to beat. You need to beat each guy with four different decks. All right. So what do we got? We're starting off with a Psyduck and a Piplup. All right, I'm going to put Psyduck first. I'm going to put Piplup on the bench. So we're going to be setting up Piplup. That's the that's the game here. We're going to take our time to set up the Piplup. We're kind of using the Psyduck as like a meat shield. He's going to be the meat shield. He's going to go down for us. Uh, still didn't get the Prinplup, because then I could just evolve right to, right to Empoleon. Anyone here sell pizza? No, I'm in the mood for pizza. That sounds good. Get a real job, pizza boy. Alright, uh, can we use these to draw cards? Alright, we're definitely going to grab the, I believe, yeah, there is a Kyogre in this deck. Kyogre's good in this one. Pukumuku's really good as well. He's gonna... Uh, I'm sorry. I know I said that. <laughs> That's not what I meant. He's to, he's, he's gonna sacrifice... We're gonna sacrifice him for the team. Alright, so Piplup's more or less set up. We just need Prinplup. And then it's... Then we'll, we'll, we'll win. I'm confident that we'll win. Oh, no! No! He switched into... What attack was that? How did he do that? Uh, knock off. Discard a random card from your opponent's hand. No, wait. Is that what he had used? Damn. All right. All right, so we're going to start setting up the Kyogre. Ah, darn it. Still no. All right, we def we got to get Piplup out of the way here. Because I, I don't want him to go down quite yet. Oh, it's the Ludicolo that's doing that. Oh, okay. What does he have? He has Captivating Rhythm. Once per turn before your attack, you may flip a coin. If heads, switch one of your opponents benched with their active. Got it. Okay. Ah, still no Prinplup. All right. Well, we're going to set up... Pukumuku's also really good. You know, I'm going to set up Kyogre, though. What's up, GT? Says, hi, what's a good way to profit uh, with 100 to buy... Oh, what's a good pack to buy with $100? Um, 
I mean, it's tough to say because at the end of the day, they're really all just luck of the draw. You know, I can't guarantee you you're going to make back your money. Hell, I, I can't even make back my money. But sets I would tell you to pick up Get Darkness Ablaze. Darkness Ablaze is a pack you can regularly find in stores, and there's a really good Charizard in that pack that ungraded is selling for like three to five hundred dollars. That's this guy right here. So this Charizard comes from Darkness Ablaze. They're super common sets. You can get them for very cheap, and you have a good chance to pull this Charizard. How much does an average pack actually cost? They go for about like three dollars three to four dollars per pack like three to four depend like and that's if you buy them from a store people resell them for a lot more than that obviously you know so if you're buying a pack online you may end up paying like five dollars or six dollars per pack but if you buy them from a store most likely between about like three to four dollars how much does the darkness of blaze one cost those packs again you can find them in stores for like four dollars you can find them for retail and you have a good chance to pull this Charizard. It's not even a secret rare. It is not even like a super rare card, but it's a Charizard. People love Charizard. So honestly, my advice, if you have some money, buy Darkness Ablaze, buy a booster box, buy some booster packs. Just, just you know, try to get some of these. How do people manage to sell them for more than what they bought? So they, they, they disappear, yes. Eventually they disappear. When the sets go out of print, um, and they're no longer being made, you know, stores aren't really going to sell them anymore. So, you know, they'll hold on to them until they're not in print anymore and then sell them for a lot more than they're actually worth. Like XY Evolutions, a set from like, uh, like six years ago is selling for like $12 and that's a really good set. What does that colorless energy second to the right in your hand do? Uh, so there's some attacks that like profit or, or have bigger gains from having special energies. Like there's an Acrosma card in a different deck that I use that with three regular energy does like a, like 120 damage. And then when you apply a special energy on there, it does like uh, an additional 60 for every special energy. So it's like they're not necessary, but some attacks benefit from them. All right. Uh, still don't have that. You know, I'm going to put Ambipom out just so I can have more of like an XP sponge. Uh, Kyogre's ready. We're going to start building up Pukamuku. If you manage to get some really great cards, would you rather sell them off or keep them as a collection? I see you already have one that may cost 400 It depends. You know, right now I'm in the mindset of I need to make a profit on this so I can buy more because I'm trying to build a YouTube channel and like it's content, you know, like I'm trying to, I'm like, I'm buying content essentially. So... Uh, wait, what does high water do? Yeah, so, I mean, right now I'm more in the mindset of I want to sell these just because I want to make some profit so that I can buy more for the channel. But if I get, like, a double, I'll keep a double. Like, I already have binders full. Like, I have binders full of cards. Like, I'm getting, I'm getting collections set up. GT says, I got a tag team Naganadel and Guzzlord from a dollar store pack. I bought 20 packs and it's rainbow. Very cool. I have not bought any of the dollar store packs yet. I, I just haven't, I just haven't got out to a dollar store yet, but I'm hearing people get some great pulls from those. Since we're talking numbers, let's do one more question. If you, if you read a, read a, I can't even say that word. Theoretically, if you sold all your cards right now, would you get more money back than you spent so far for the content? Uh, yes, I think so. But the problem is majority of what I have is, are these bulk, these cards that really aren't worth a whole lot. So they just kind of sit. Now there's websites where you can trade bulk for like booster boxes, but it's like 3000 cards for a booster box. Uh, we still don't have an, uh, a print plop. Oh my Lord. We're just not getting that print plop. All right. You know what? I should be able to take out the Lombre. Makes sense. Hope you land some big ones soon. Dude, I know. I need it. Rainbow cards are pretty cool. They're awesome. I love those. Alright, who are you switching out for? Alright, Pukamuku, whatever. 
All right. Uh, oh, no, I'm going to lose the Empoleon. Oh, well. I got to do it for the Primplup. Is Articodin? Articuno? 1999 shiny rare? Uh, maybe. Anything that's that old is rare. You know, there just aren't too many of them out there anymore. I can't tell you how much it would actually be worth, but it couldn't hurt to actually, like, take it to get it graded. Is this like a pre-made deck? Yes, this one is. But um, this is a deck that I purchased from a store, and it comes with a code card so that you can use the deck online. All right, who's going to be active? Let's go Let's go for the Pukumuku. Let's get him out there. This is the one that I already have set up. I already got all the energies attached to. Nice, and we got the Empoleon. Oh, my lord. So, so with Surprise Fist, you do Rock, Paper, Scissors. If you win, it does 60 more damage for 120 damage. But we just got, we just tied like six rounds straight. <laughs> I don't, know how to, I don't know how to do that for PSA. Um, I'm not... So I haven't sent anything out to get it graded as of yet. I'm relatively new to the hobby. Um, but it's fairly straightforward. You just submit what you have um, on their website. You put it in a mailer. You obviously have to secure it. You send it in. Uh, I know their turnaround times are really bad right now. They're like eight months out. Which is a big reason why I haven't sent any... Oh, down goes Pukamuku. It's why I haven't sent anything out yet. Is that I don't, I don't want to be without the cards for that long. Right, is he resistant to water? No, I can take him. So this should knock him out. No, it didn't. Oh, he resisted. Also have a rainbow GX hollow. Dude, cool. Anything rainbow is worth something. It might be, you know, 10 to 20 bucks. You know, there are some cards that are just worth more than others, but if you have a rainbow, it's going to be worth something. I can promise you that. You can sell them ungraded. Just don't expect to get as much money. Oof. All right, it probably wasn't the best idea to take a water deck against a, a grass-type trainer. All right, the Ludicolo is down at least. I'm still confident we're going to win this. I only have to knock out two more of his Pokemon. The Avatar looks just like you. Oh, I tried. I tried to make it look like me. His beard's a little more even than mine is. Mine is growing in really weird. I just don't want to trim it up because I'm trying to grow it out. Yeah, I'm 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 gonna be fine. I have the I have the utmost confidence. Well, we just won, so. Oh my God! I found two first edition Spanish cards: Casilla and Graphil. I'm not familiar with those ones. Uh, they go for a lot now. Well, good, good for you, man. Congrats on the victory. Heck yeah. Like I find this so much fun. I I absolutely love this. All right, so let's. What have we not beat him with? Let's Born of Fire is a terrible deck. I hate that deck. Uh, but I don't have a choice because I don't like hidden depths either either. Let's go. I gotta do it. Let me cover up usernames, cause y'all y'all don't don't you guys don't need to see that cringe. So I you got, you got to log in with your Pokemon Trainer account, and I made that account when I was like nine years old, so it's like the cringiest username. <laughs> well, have a good day. Here's a sub. Thank you, GT. I appreciate it. There should be a notification that pops up on stream eventually. 
Alright, so what do we got? Vulpix, yay. Is the chat box no longer working? No, chat box is working. The alert box is kind of hung up. Hopefully we get his notification eventually. There it is. GT Allen just subscribed. Welcome to the club, buddy. Alright, so what can we actually use here? Ooh, okay, the Snorlax is a good card. Uh, the Tauros is good, but requires a lot of setup. Alright, I'm going to go for the Flareon, because when we get that Eevee, we can start setting him, setting him up. Oh, nice. I have another one of these, so I can grab... I can just grab the Eevee now. Alright, how much does that need? That needs three energy. <clears throat> Snorlax is real thick. He just looks comfortable. Whatever that's... One of, one of the Snorlax cards we got last time, I love its artwork. It's so goofy looking. Do I have that handy? Uh, let me see. Mm. No, these were my... Not that set. Where did I put that? I have so many cards laying around this place, it's not even funny. Did I put him away already? I think I did. Well, we got a really goofy looking Snorlax last time. What's the ability on Flareon? Uh, Flare effect. Each of your stage one Pokemon in play is now a fire type. Uh, so it's like a type advantage. Altercation. Alterer. Oh, he's setting up the Ludicolo. Okay, good. Ooh, he still knocked out the... Okay, so I think we'll still be okay here because he's going to be using Grass types. Draw seven cards. Nice, okay. I'll take that. All right, flip a coin. If heads, this attack does 20 more damage. Of course. Oh, that also revives some health. Oof. Yeah, Flareon's not bad. It's just I've, I've struggled with this deck in the past. There we go. How much does that do? That did 160. Let's evolve the Growlithe. Now, what can Arcanine do? Flamethrower, discard an energy. All right, that's not terrible. I have a feeling we're going to steamroll him. Because <laughs> we have the type advantage. Now, this is not another player. This is not somebody I'm playing against live. This is just a computer match, just so you know. This is just a computer match. But yes, he's been rather unlucky so far. I guess we'll get set up the, the Ponyta. I 
don't think he has much he's able to do here. He, he didn't he didn't put enough energies onto his nine tails, and then he put it into battle. It can't do anything. Need to get those real players beaten. I'm no good at that. I've I've played a few online rounds. I won the first one and felt really good about it, and then just got absolutely demolished in the second one and never tried ever again. <laughs> I'm still, I'm, I'm, once I learn all the basic, once I have all of this figured out and I'm proficient and I can do this, then we'll play online. Once I build my own deck and not use the pre-made decks. Flareon is cute in this card. Do you like that? All right. And what is this? Robo Substitute. Play this card if it were a 30 HP basic Pokemon at any time. During your turn, before your attack, you may discard this... Okay, so this is like a, a damage sponge. So that doesn't count as me knocking something out? Okay. Oh, he's stalling! These are like cards used to stall. Got it. He's just stalling so he can set something else up. Well, sorry, man. That's it. Even without the buff, it's game over. Homer Simpson got defeated. <laughs> now every time I look at a, a victory bell, I'm gonna think of a, a of a of, of Homer Simpson. All right, cool. We earned a booster pack for that. So now we can open up a pack. We 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 earned a Rebel Clash. Oh, Weeping Bell looks more like Homer. Stall all your wants. Your fate is already sealed. Oh, look at that. We got Bolton, full art. Beautiful. Rebel Clash. Decent set, nothing amazing. Oh, and that's that. So not bad. Stalls more than pro wrestler Larry. I am not going to be able to say that name. Zbysko? Spesko? Not familiar. Oh, man, I'm still pretty bummed on those cards that we pulled today. We didn't get anything too crazy. But now I have all these Hatterene giant cards that I don't know what to do with. That, and I got another giant ore beetle. Now I got two of those. I don't know what to do with these. Like, for scale, here's, here's a regular card, and then that's the jumbo card. Like, what am I supposed to do with that? What am I supposed to do with that? You heading out, Mr. T-Bones? Make a deck out of only giant cards. Yeah, be a complete douchebag. Be like, there you go. <laughs> Eat them. Uh, hmm. Ten dollars. I'll crumple this up and put it in my mouth. There, I feel like there's this fascination with me eating cards now after that one time. I mean, they're decent cards. Like, I don't, I don't know, again, they're not really worth much. They're all printed really well. Like, the centering is really good on all of these. Hmm. Yeah. I just, I don't see these ever being worth anything. So, they'll just go on the shelf of shame. Uh, I was really hoping we could have pulled something else kind of cool so I could send it to PSA because I need a few more cards to send because it's like a, a 20, 20 card minimum to get like a to get like a discounted rate or something like that. Oh well, we tried. All right, so I think I'm going to get out of here. Kind of hungry. want to go have some dinner. I appreciate you guys always coming out and watching these. I don't know when the next one's going to be as I don't I don't have a buildup of any more cards, so I, I'll have to go out and get some more. Don't know when that will be, though.
kind of hungry, you had four perfectly good Pokemon cards in your hand. <laughs> I'm hungry. I need real food. Alrighty, folks. I'm out of here. Have yourselves a good night. I, again, I don't really know when we're going to be doing this, but hopefully soon, because I, I, don't, I don't like to go too long without streaming something, so... I know uh, I've been saying that I might end up streaming some Crash 4. I'm going through, I'm getting all the collectible items in Crash 4. It's taking me forever, and I'm going to be making a video about that. So if you guys want to see me stream that, you guys will get to watch me suffer for a while. Because <laughs> that game, I swear, that game frustrates me. When your next game stream? I, Dude, I don't know. I don't know. I think uh, I'm definitely going to send back Deadly Premonition 2. I'm not a fan of it. I don't think we're going to play that again. Um, I'm going to swap that out for Yakuza Like a Dragon. Hopefully play that soon. So in terms of game stream, I don't know. I don't really know. But Crash 4 is something that we would probably stream soon-ish. You guys always get a notification before I stream. So, Alrighty, I'm out of here. Have yourselves a good night, and I will see you next time. I'd say play Like a Dragon by yourself. Yeah, I, I think I would too. I feel like Yakuza is a very personal thing. I don't feel like it's a good stream game. Alright, I'm out. See you guys.